my favorite city, Tokyo. I've always had interest in Japan, but ever since I visited Tokyo for the first time, I've been captivated by the city's charm. Any time I can take a vacation, I always head straight to Tokyo. Tokyo is a unique city with traditional culture and historic buildings side by side with state-of-the-art urban facilities. You can enjoy Japan's diverse food culture from anywhere in the city, so you'll never get tired of coming back. Tokyo is a fascinating city that combines the new and old of Japan. But there's actually one more place in Japan that's very close to my heart. Chiba Prefecture, located just next to Tokyo. I wonder how many people in the world know about Chiba. When visiting Tokyo, we must first land at Narita International Airport, our gateway to Japan. And that's right, this airport happens to be situated in Chiba. When you think of Chiba, I'm sure Tokyo Disneyland is the first thing that pops into your mind. And like many, I've also been there myself. There's also the Tokyo Bay Aqua Line, a major highway that provides easy access between Tokyo and Chiba. But these are merely the gateway to the many attractions that Chiba has to offer. It was not until several visits to Japan that I learned about Chiba for the first time. My old colleague Jessica, who worked with me at a manufacturing company, suddenly emailed me the day before I was leaving. Hey Jessica, how are you going? Pretty good, Steve. How about you? Good, good. It's been a long time. Jessica is married to a Japanese man and now lives in Chiba. Knowing that I'm a frequent visitor to Tokyo, she suggested that we meet up if I'm in town. Easy access to the airport, I decided on a one-day extension to my trip and went to pay a visit to Jessica. This reunion became a journey to discover the many attractions that Chiba has to offer. It's great to be back in Chiba again this year. It was springtime several years ago that I experienced Chiba for the first time. I took the Cominato Railways to visit Jessica. I 
I saw stunning scenery from the window that I had never seen before. the good stuff. You know, I had no idea there was such a great place as this right next to Tokyo. It's just so beautiful. I knew you'd say so. Mm. That's why I asked you to come all the way to Chiba. Mm. No, you're living in a really nice place. Mm. Thanks. At first I wanted to live in Tokyo, but mm. this place really grew on me. Mm. Yep. How would you describe Chiba? Well, simply put, it's a place where you can experience the true essence of Japan. Hmm. I like that. The true essence of Japan. I began my journey to Chiba in my quest to find out just what Jessica meant by that. Enjoyed together with Tatayama Castle, the beautiful cherry blossoms are an essential part of the spring scenery in Japan. Japanese people are known to enjoy the tradition of Hanami, along with the arrival of spring, as they see the unique beauty of the petals blooming and falling in no time at all. Cherry blossoms in full bloom are breathtakingly beautiful. It's these kinds of moments when I realize I'm really in Japan. In summer, I came across the Tatayama Fireworks Festival, where you can enjoy the brilliant reflections of the fireworks on the water. These seasonal fireworks festivals are a symbol of summer in Japan. If you get a chance, you don't want to miss it. In autumn, I visited the Ohara Hadaka Festival, famous for its gallant atmosphere. I was completely amazed by the sight of strong men rushing into the ocean, carrying mikoshi. These mikoshi appear in various festivals throughout Japan and are tossed and shaken by the carriers in order to invigorate the spirit of the Shinto gods. These festivals may vary from region to region, but the underlying theme is all the same. It's a prayer for a rich harvest and prosperous fishing. I have a favourite town in Chiba where you can enjoy Japan's historic atmosphere. It's known as Sawara. In this town, it almost feels like I've been transported back in time to the world of samurai.
Sawada has flourished as a key town for water transportation since the Edo period, which dates back 400 years. Along with traditional style houses, the historic atmosphere of the streets is still preserved, with stores that remain in business to this day. scenes I encountered in Chiba was the Kamiyama Lake in the autumn season. As I watched the beautiful scenery from the water, it felt as though time had stood still. These autumn leaves show a beauty of nature that's unique to countries with four seasons like Japan. Aside from all the places I have introduced so far, I also enjoyed a koto harp concert at a traditional Japanese house and observed the incredible phenomenon known as the Diamond Fuji that can only be seen a few times a year. The destination this time is Chikura in Minami Boso. I've been hoping to experience what is known as the most historic onsen or hot spring in Chiba, located here in Chikura. Apparently, there's a very unique shrine in Chikura that can't be found anywhere else in Japan. Why don't I drop by and have a look? Oh, I can't wait to get to Chikura. Tonight, I'll be staying at a traditional Japanese inn. Thank you for coming to our Chikura restaurant. Beautiful place. Is it good? Very yes. nice. Thank you very much. Could you just fill up your yes, uh, guest card here, please? Sure. At these Japanese inns, attendants known as Nakai will politely escort you. Hi, 
してお荷物こちらに失礼いたします。Where are you from? オーストラリアから来ました。オーストラリア。そう。オーストラリアのどこ？ゴールドコースト。ゴールドコースト。うん。うん、so do you go surfing at the beach? Yes, every day. Oh, 毎日。Yes. すごい。Almost. ほぼ毎日です。Do you go early in the morning? Early morning, sometimes early morning.、うん、波の状況で。Well, And the best waves early in the morning, maybe afternoon. Ah, day by day. では失礼いたします。はい、Thank you very much. ありがとうございます。はい、こちらこそありがとうございます。ではご夕食のお時間までごゆっくりお過ごしくださいませ。ありがとうございます。These rooms, known as washitsu, are filled with a distinct beauty and atmosphere. I just love being here, it, it soothes my soul. When visiting Chikura, going to the beach is a must. I decided to go to the beach that my attendant recommended as a good surfing spot. During winter time in Futsu Cape, I've come across many people enjoying kiteboarding against the backdrop of Mount Fuji. Surrounded by the ocean, water sports are extremely popular in Chiba. And let me tell you, the water here is absolutely beautiful. I finally got the chance to experience Chikura Onsen. One of the best things to try during your trip in Japan is hot springs. Depending on the ingredients, hot springs have various healing effects such as easing nerve pain. Just as I hoped, this oldest hot spring in Chiba is perfect for me. Wow, look at all these! It's plate after plate of seafood. Surrounded by the ocean, this kind of dinner is unique to places like Chiba. And needless to say, these are extremely delicious.
Chiba has an abundance of seafood on offer. It is said that the Chaw Seaport has led Japan in catches for the past five years in a row. Rice grown in this fine soil is very rich in flavour. When it comes to the agriculture and fishing industries, I've heard that Chiba is one of the leading areas in Japan. The next morning, I decided to visit a one-of-a-kind shrine in Japan. It's a very neat shrine with a certain sacred atmosphere to it. This shrine is called Takabe Shrine. It is apparently the only shrine in Japan that is dedicated to the god of cookery. People from all over the country visit this shrine with food-related prayers. One place that really left an impression on me is Kōtokuji Temple. Shrines and temples have long been the heart and soul of Japanese people's lives. Shrines are a place for people to offer prayers to Shinto gods, whereas temples are for Buddhists. With over 500 years of history, this temple houses 500 Rakan statues, which represent Buddhist monks worthy of respect and offering in the world of Buddhism. It holds a mystic atmosphere that's really worth a visit. During New Year's, I've been to Hatsumode, which is a customary visit to shrines or temples to wish for good luck in the year ahead. The Narita-san Shinshoji Temple is located near Narita Airport. During Hatsumode season, around three million people visit this famous temple in just three days. Perhaps he's a chef. These 
these wooden plaques are known as Emma. People write their wishes on these Emma and leave them hanging at the shrines so that God will receive the prayers. Takabe Shrine. This will be another shrine that I'll never forget. I'm sure there are many little known places like this in Chiba. Seeing beauty in the passage of time and diligently striving towards the things in front of you. For me, it is those landscapes and people that represent the true essence of Japan. However, I'm certain that anyone who's visited will have their own unique point of view. Here, at my home away from home, Chiba. This program was made possible by Chiba Prefectural Government.